Greetings everyone, hello Your and welcome back to Vega attack. once more, oh, to another important message probably, yeah, it's just my salt mines that are under attack here, however, I do have some shibbies in the area, I think also there, Stations. down here we still have also my battleship, we could actually redirect them over there to these salt mines, Ship to, yeah, attack. it's going to be too late for these salt mines. But for the next ones, we are going to save them. Now, I'm back fine. to Vega, of course, because we want to continue focusing a bit on my city building. And the Research Institute is coming along Shift and actually only attack. takes another 12 minutes before we are fully developed with them. Oh, look at that. Miss Hunt is actually having another offensive attack. here, it looks like that. Fully into my trade routes. Yep. Such petty I mean, it doesn't structures. really matter because, yeah, we can just replace them. But why? Let's Ship actually get a lot attack. of my old wooden ships in this area again. I had them there at some point. And it's a pity and look Ship at that. I'm certainly not going to allow that now. Do we need to redirect as so many of them as possible? Where's this coming from all of a sudden? Miss Hunt, that Ship is not okay. How is it they're looking with our relationship with her? Five. Ah, ah doesn't work. Doesn't work there. So let's get my ships over. Oh, there's also more here colliding right now with my wooden ships that I'm sending and we're also going to send four battleships into the region. A ship was destroyed. Because if I can't send one thing it's the destruction and disruption of my trade routes. Destroyed. Not a good idea. I will need um, a bunch more cargo ships now. Let's build four more. Easily done. There you go. By the way do we have someone at Archie? No we don't. I might need... I think we still have the nut. There it is. Let's go ahead and go to Archie right away. Going to need you there. Very important. She has attacked in both regions simultaneously. And they're spacking off again. Nasty. Really nasty. Nice Bye. surprise there. I was not expecting that at all. But I still have, of course, a bunch more ships now available. All right, so I wanted to continue, of course, and we need to we need to do something here in that area. Please, now, this was one of my first city areas, of course. Right now, though, I want to remodel that a bit. I mean, we have to. We need to build the World Fair, and I think this is just a very good location for it, right? Because it's central, it's overlooking everything, so you can see it from anywhere. But I do need to move a bunch of things around. This is the Research Institute, a uh, research district, so I can't have them moved over there. We have some artisans here. Now I'm not going to endlessly move around our buildings. We probably will just rely on destroying some of them as well. Because let's face it, we're full. Uh, there's not that much I can do anymore. Um, I'm getting actually workers in Billaway, right? So we can upgrade a few more here. And also now, Havisham. Oh no, what is going on in Havisham? Really? All right, let's build the last deep farm then here. Once I have some more timber, grrr, I do need more timber. As always, yes. strange things Thank happen. Doesn't matter for me right now. Uh, we do have, of course, the strict for the workers. Let's get rid of those guys there. And let's get rid of those guys here. And with that, I can also get rid of the marketplace and the pop in this area because there's nothing else anymore that would need them. And we can continue with the moving of buildings, right? So this is a very good infrastructure area. That means I can safely move high quality buildings over there. They're getting fully covered with everything they need. So, but the artisans I can move them a bit further away to continue with having investors here. Now this area is also interesting. I totally forgot about it because it's so narrow. But of course we have space available here. First we have a school and a pub. Both of them are not required anymore. We can however have another bridge going to that side. Right. And then use this one also just for normal. Hmm. And we have investors here. Let's just quickly check it out. Where's my electricity? There it is. Nope. Doesn't go all the way up there. The police station will probably stay somewhere here. But artisan would be artisans would be possible in this area. Perfectly fine. Because we do have the theater. We do have the university just here. So the coverage is there. I right? No but Two most important buildings that artisans require. And that, once again, gives me the ability to, yeah, move more artisans aside. And with that, also move more investors to the region. 
So that should give me enough room here. Boy, the real estate value is tremendous in this area. But we don't care about the real estate value. We care about the world fair. I can place it like this. Yeah. It is fine, I'd, I'd say. But there, it would be nice to have another tile available. However, I cannot... I cannot do something about the bank here. Oh, yeah, I could. I could further move Drift that university up. And then we could probably make the bank like this. And this gives me another tile Drift that I can struck. use for this area. I just need to move those investors Not too many changes. a bit further over there. And then this is looking great now. Yep. I think we can do it like so. Because that gives me the opportunity of having the paved road all around here. Going then to the variety theater. Plus, also we have a double road here available to the bank. So I don't need to have it cramped too much. Yeah. There's still that theater here. That we probably will do like that. Which also makes sense, right? So it's looking more towards the road. And that makes it possible to have then this all around here. Yeah, that's possible. With that, we have enough space around it. And only I now need a warehouse for the construction, of course. Of this monster and Your with that ship has ooh, from its voyage. why not there it is and with that we have the next monument being built once again cement but we have plenty of that timber and farmers for the first phase mm, the farmer wise uh, the farmer stuff Tough. yeah i might actually just build me a few more these guys here should have the workload mm, but then i don't have any timber over there um i might also just temporarily downgrade some ah, that's also it's also crappy honestly we can just build a few more houses there's nothing nastier than downgrading people oh also we have of course uh, quite the problem over there once again with another plague and i think my ship with the building materials should have arrived so that we can afford a second hospital because let's face it billaway is dirty right it's there's always always a plague the Spytanger Hospital already in the region. I'm going to build one here now too. So we have them a bit close together perhaps. Um, so let's actually have it a bit further over here. So that we can cover this whole side and this whole side now. And those, let's move them back inside. They're all purchasing my shares again. Uh. And also, there we have it. Vault Research Foundation number one is finished. You lack the there you go. And we can go ahead with the next phase right away and probably finish that one ASAP. Ah, looking good. I love Censorship this. This is my is favorite. Uh, this is my favorite of the monument of them all. Right, so lovely looking overall. Just beside the World Fair, really. When you look at that. Now I've lost a few ships to Miss Hunt. Um, this one here can actually resume, and this one can start. Then we got coffee. I lost one, and of course we rebuilt those ships rather quickly. This one is in the new world and rum definitely always be a three cargo ships on the run trader there and i've lost really an oil tanker so delphis can continue with that as well uh, yeah we're still looking good on the oil though so no problem here one more cargo ship i would have and i have the influence for uh no actually we don't need three. Oh god no additional cargo ships for the moment meaning we Production probably should upgrade stopped. even more people so we got this whole bunch here available that has the members club Plus also the World Fair close by, so yeah, it's a good location. Let's upgrade them to investors and these guys here perhaps as well. Oh, that's great. There is another quest. I'll put you on child. Photography quest. Must be nice pirating news. in warmer waters away from the Empire's grim tentacles. Me and my boys could take a love for tune any day of the week. Show me their island and I'll laugh myself to tears. Shake the tree, see All what right. It's probably the easiest pirate quest I've had so far. Of course, the prerequisite would be to actually have found Sean Le Fatune, right? So, if you haven't found him yet, this quest might be tricky. And let's submit the photo of a perfect image. That gives me a you bit more reputation with N. That's like three. Uh, with that, we are in the 60s. Because everyone yeah, gives, gives her 62. Trade rights is unlikely. Ah, she ways. declines, but no penalty Shift to the reputation. Attack. We could try a non-aggression pack, but I think that doesn't give me any influence with her. No, it doesn't. But at least that's that, right? So she should also not demand any payments now for another two hours. 
money wise i really don't care about that uh trade rights though that would be amazing and we're pretty far into that now let's yeah, also give sean a bit more bit. money sean sean is though harder to please not so easy as the monuments coming along uh research institute a quarter and yeah welfare also a quarter taking a bit more time we can use that time to continue with yeah well the other side of vega and that is the tourist port right this is looking so different than the other side it's clean right and there we have it public mooring and let's just see there you go looking like a mess here though uh, i will need to need to move a few things around here i probably want to have a bus station here or something like that problem is you can't align this one to a triple road never could always a problem it'll make it look like there is a there's a block or some sort very good and with that we do get the upgrade Finally, menu for that terra yep. firma. I cannot wait to and look finally, and we have explore. also tourists in Vega. Tourists flock the city in droves. Of course, we do need a few things for those tourists. The first one is then a bus stop that we can have right here at the entrance. And we, we might then connect that with lot. my monuments that we have, of course. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't... I, I know where I can find hotels. Thank you very much. We also have a few... Ornaments than right here, and perhaps a shop or something like that. The fire, travelers' kiosk. Behind. That makes sense. I've been mean, looking this one towards the towards the bus stop, and perhaps a pillar right here. There is actually a kiosk over there, right? It's looking a bit dirty. Now, of course, with the tourists, it's like, um, you know, we don't have any money there incoming at the moment. There's also a tendency of a zero. Well, Spreads no tourists want to get to Vega. I wonder why. Is it because of Funeral Metropolis? That actually has something to it, something eerie, right? Don't you want to visit a Funeral Metropolis? I probably would like to visit that. Yeah, unfortunately, there is nothing coming over right now. We also don't have any attractions that would be interesting for tourists at the moment, right? So the monuments, of course, that we are building are the first step for that, so that we get a oh bit yeah, of that kicking. Game. And of course, hotels would be the other one, but hotels do require windows, and that is something I don't have at the moment. Um, or I can't spare because my monuments need that. Now we continue though with um yeah with a few things here. Of course I realize now that with the full inspection. back of uh, sewing machines no longer needing uh, steel, we have now quite the overproduction of steel, right? So it's at 75. There is of course still a few more things that we can use steel for. Not that many though. Um, so we can of course invest a bit of that into additional sewing machine factories. Um, that is totally fine. They don't pollute. Um, and yeah, well, with a bit of electrification, probably would also produce us quite the nice Your city um, overproduction over for the Docklands, right? Problem is space. Um, we are already pretty down. I still have a bunch of these guys here available there, but I would like to use that space for something else. And what is that? First, we need to check. Do we have? Yeah, we have another expert office. And at this point, I gotta, I gotta be honest, I'm a bit lazy when it comes to that because we can use it like that and I'm going to use it like that. We're going to use the sewing machines and we're going to import what? Yeah, well, gold, of course. You could, of course, also mine it in the new world, but this is just so much faster. We do have a surplus of, yeah, 150 sewing machines right now that we can use and that would lead to 74 tons of um, gold. Like, also, let's go ahead and add another another loading wharf right so here with the, the pier we can definitely do this uh, we probably need to restructure the whole area here doesn't make sense anymore the way it looks it's looking horrible uh where can we get where can we get the the loading wharf yeah up there is actually a beautiful location here by the commute pier that we can squeeze it in to speed up the um, loading and uh, unloading times by 200% now. At least that is something. And of course, this, the uh, the gold we want to use. I mean, look at that. How many people these boats are using now? And I want to produce pocket watches with that. And yeah, well, 
We do have, of course, a slight surplus, but I want to have a surplus for the engineers as well, ended. right? That means we do need to have at least two pocket watches in surplus. Let's make Work it three to play it safe. Um, and that would lead me to about four clockmakers. And that Things would lead, yeah, to about three goldsmiths. Yeah, let's make three goldsmiths. That's 60 gold bars. Let's make it 70 gold bars that we need every 20 minutes. And that's exactly how much we have. Let's actually bump it up to 80. Um, and that's fine. Right, with that we have the gold coming in. Glass makers, probably not fine. It is not. So glass makers, there is still room for improvements. There is my whole sand mine area oh. here. Now, um, I'm not. I'm boosting them actually already with the workers. This would be possible. Wouldn't affect it too much. And we have a surplus production of four. That means two glass makers. That means four additional glass. That would still not be enough. So I could also try to play tricky here. No, that's not possible. This could be possible. No, there is no connection here anymore. Oh, come on. We don't have to deal on paper. 40,000. I like you too, goals. Sean. I think we need to do it like that. Hmm, this could work. Look at that. All the way to this area. And... <laughs> they would have quite the distance to travel, but at least it'll work. Three of them we can still squeeze in here. Now that's something. Three additional ones. Having quite the, the distance here, but that's fine. Let's upgrade that warehouse. And let's uh, also upgrade this one here. Right into that. Looking quite nifty now. Unfortunately, there's no more layers possible. And yeah, with that we can definitely have a few more glass makers. Um, and we could... Yeah, we could get rid of some of those furnaces. Increasing my attractiveness a bit. And then we're just going to squeeze in some additional glass makers. And they're going to be boosted. That's the great thing about them. Alright, so that's quite the additional production now for glass. Uh, probably going to take a while. Nope, it's already there. We have a surplus of 12 now. That's what I like to see. And steel, of course, is still... <laughs> we're producing twice as much the as what we need. So that's also fine. Abandoned. Now, with that, we can go ahead and have the pocket watches going. They require electricity, right? So once again, a bit of a challenge here, finding the right spot for them. And one of them would be... Yeah, well, the brass, right? We have a lot of brass right now going. 350. And I could theoretically get rid of the brass smelters. We no longer really need them. As importing them is just easier. Now, if we just move a bunch of these artisans here into this area, um, we do have some space available here that I like a lot because we do have already the the warehouse close by. I mean, we could theoretically, hmm, could still move this one there. Perfect. And then that one here also to another location close by. Something like that. And then we can actually have another warehouse in this area too. And this makes sense, right? So we could have then those pocket watches. Let's actually move them over there. They stick together. Oh, there would be room now. This is possible. And we do have electricity here. Ooh, all right, all the way to this one. So we do need to move those guys here to enable us another one here. Something like that. And those guys probably... Uh, probably one here and... Bye. Don't care, we have really enough artisans at this point. Let's build us a, a clockmaker here and another one just here. And we should be able to get this one going too, since no one really needs that warehouse there. I mean, we still have the connection here. Get this one done. Right, even though this one already has the other connection there. All right, this is fine. Now we got the electricity and it, yeah, it fits in. Gotta say that. It's clean industry. It's a little tiny industry district that we have here. We can still add a few more buildings now in this area. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Or we just add a few more um, houses then along the way. And of course, for ornaments, we could also say this is a little industry area. So, yeah, some industrial um, cosmetics that we can add. I just realized, of course, I don't have the DLC activated for ornaments of workers. That's crazy, isn't it? But I don't have industrial ornaments at the moment available. Other than the ones that we got out of the... Out of our scenarios. So let's use this. Why not now? We can use this, of course. Having a bit of a metal fence surrounding them in this area. So people don't accidentally get into my pocket watches production. 
Now we're waiting for a bit of gold to come in and then this will be running. And with that, we will then be able to yeah, finally also make those engineers a bit happier again because right now they don't have um, pocket watches, questions. right? And they yeah, will suffer for that. All right, also, yeah, both of my own, uh, monuments are finished. Let's start with the, the smaller one where there's still lots of construction ahead of us. That's the world fair. Um, we also have the materials for the next phase so we can start this right away. It's materials that we have in abundance uh, and Windows gets, yeah, well, relieved again a bit. And then we have the research institute that we can now finally finish all the way up here to the top. We have finished it, including the clock tower. There it is. In all its beauty, you we it. have this was a my first monument. Now you made it true. Just do anything Imagine right away with my... Yeah, it receive. does actually have the tendency of gi giving us uh, 283 tourists coming in uh, with the next boat. So there, tourism starts. Plus, it's probably the most amazing building in this game. And what we can do right away with the first 1,000 research points that we have, that we got out of some item donations, is, yeah, getting us a campus extension permit running. And with that, in... Oh, wait a second. We can, of course, assign a few Ceasefire more. Has up ended. to 1,700 to speed it up there a bit. And get us the Scholar District cracking. Now, this one continues onwards then. And I think that's really it for the moment. I would like to have a quick look at the other researches. Uh, that we have available at the research institute and colossal ship permits colossal ships will be available available for construction at the steam shipyard i think this is it this is what we need for building the dreadnought and this will cost ship me five thousand science points we do need to build a few scholars first to raise our uh, limit right oh and look at that there is an advanced battleship now from sand that's new very, oh very daunting i mean holy cow look at that right in the middle of all my ships trying to get in here what a pity that we have to destroy it well, let's get the mortars let's get the all our weapons going for this one and of course it's fighting my is it my upgraded versions yes we do have some weapons there and by the way yeah, this one uh, we probably no oh, probably need another battleship if I want to use that weapon. We are barely losing any health there. That's great. And this is the last version. The advanced battleship. Only AI can have that. After that, we have to drive down. So we definitely need to get this going soon. It takes so many hits. I mean, it's fighting against four of them, right? Ready for assignment. Then I would like to see its cargo, please. Or what's left of it. That's that. Yeah, it must, must be bad for her to lose it. Bye. Because they are actually rare. Uh, no. A solder acid extinguisher. On the aggression pact All right. Ended. Something along the line. Construction continues. Uh, pocket watch is coming in now. And yeah, the first advanced battleship destroyed. That's quite a few milestones. Tourism jump-started. And we continue onwards in the next episode. Stay tuned.